Well, welcome. Greetings from the, the very beautiful Michael House Chapel in this wonderful Christmas season in the year 2022. Uh, I've been to probably three or four chapel services, uh, carol services this season already, and I have no doubt that there will be a few more before the, the Christmas day dawns. Uh, I love carol services. I, I love them. I become like a little boy again when I hear the familiar words and hear the, the carols sung again. But I realize also that there's a little bit of a danger with the familiarity. They're so common, so, so known to us, the words and the carols, that you can almost take them for granted. This year, I, I, a line struck me afresh in the words of the readings, and it's repeated over and over. And it's the word of the angels to, to the, the key characters in that uh, story of the birth of Jesus. And the line is, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. And you know, as it struck me, I sort of went back through the Bible and it's amazing how often that, that line uh, appears. Some of the commentators say that it, it appears 365 times in the Bible. Either do not be afraid or do not fear, combinations of those words. Now, I don't know, I haven't counted them all myself, but it's clear that that message is really important at Christmas time, but throughout the pages of scripture. And I began to ask myself, well, why is it that when God has this opportunity to speak, that so often he precedes it with the line, do not be afraid. I began to realize that maybe he does that because we are people who quite often are afraid and anxious. Certainly the characters in uh, the uh, Christmas story were people who were caught up in the, the anxieties of their lives. Just imagine Mary suddenly faced with a, an unexpected pregnancy, or Joseph having to make a decision as to whether to go ahead with a, a marriage to a woman who now had a, a reputation. What about the, the shepherds? I love the story of the shepherds, and I want to read to you just one line from, from that uh, story. The angels come to, to the shepherds and say, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. You know, the shepherds were outcasts. They were people who lived on the fringes and the margins of society. I think for them, they probably thought that as the angels appeared, that maybe they were, they were about to be rounded up and deported. They were anxious, they were afraid. And God reassures them, do not be afraid. We also have fears in this day and age. And I, I, I imagine that as I chat to you, you perhaps have all sorts of things on your shoulders, maybe things that you don't share with anybody. We're in the middle of a cost of living crisis. Inflation is going through the roof. We have wars in our, in our world that impact us. We have broken relationships. And I think the message is real for us, just as it was for the people uh, on, in the Christmas story. Don't be afraid. Don't be anxious. Don't be distracted by what the media quite often will, will make a big thing about. God is with us. And I think that's the second reason why God says, do not be afraid because he's wanting to reveal afresh something of himself, something of his plans for the world. The Christmas story is not meant to be sentimentality or a distraction from the reality of the world. It's, it's the moment when God says, I have come to make things new. I've come to do something different. I'm gonna do something about your fears and anxieties. And in the birth of Jesus, we see God coming to experience the world for himself to come and stand alongside us, to make things different. Certainly in the life and the death and the resurrection of Jesus, the world is changed. And so the third reason, the final reason I think that God says, do not be afraid, and he repeats it over and over, it's an actual fact, it is an invitation for us. When he speaks to the shepherds, it is to invite them to be part of his unfolding plan. Do not be afraid, go and tell. Go and tell the world of what, about what you've heard and seen. And the shepherds do that. They go out and the, the line, the, the passage ends, this is my last quote, when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had said to them. Do not be afraid is an invitation for us to take what we know, what we have seen, what we have witnessed, what we have experienced, and to be agents of that good news to those around us, to those anxious people around us. We called to be messengers. 
And so this Christmas, in all of its familiarity, in all of those carols and stories that we will hear and that will be familiar, please don't let it just be a moment of sentimentality. Don't let it be a distraction from the, the realities of your anxiety. Let the message transform you and then in turn, please, won't you go out and play your part? You have a part. You have a part this Christmas to share the good news. God has made a difference in this world and His plans are unfolding and there is peace to be had. There is prosperity to be had. And there is good news to be had. Have a wonderful, blessed, Happy Christmas. From Michael House, for now, goodbye.